what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back it's your boy terabyte reacts here back with another reaction of slam dunk today we're going to be doing episode 44 and 45 so make sure you hit that like button make sure you leave a comment below let's go so shoku is feeling the pressure they're down big again you know what i'm saying um because Hanamichi has decided that <laughs> Hanamichi has decided that he's not going to 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 play anymore pretty much you know and kind of not be aggressive about getting rebounds anymore because he doesn't want to foul out it has already hurt the team um because now they're down by 12 and Mitsui is having trouble remembering this dude I don't know why that is even significant at this point like there's no need for him to remember who this dude is i don't care he needs to do what he what he, what he needs to do on the court that's what you're there to do you're, you're there to help your team win so stop worrying about who's guarding you and trying to remember who they ain't that who they is you know what i'm saying like i get it the dude is talking shit to you i totally get it but you don't have to pay attention to that play your game and get your shots up this guy took on an individual responsibility to guard you. Your job out there is to shoot. And I get it. Sometimes that psychologically can hurt you. Um, how is he going to break out of the cycle? I don't know how he's going to do it, but I hope he does. I hope this game doesn't end with him trying to remember who this dude is. And, he ha and you know, they end up losing or even winning. And he's still trying to remember who this dude is. Like... You get what I'm saying? At this point, it doesn't matter. So he's got to get over that psychological barrier and get the job done. So looking forward to it. Let's go watch the episodes. And I will see you guys for the review. So let's do this. Okay, so as I said in the at the end of the episode, that I will be doing 44, 45, and 46 in this review, for this review, because I I remember what happened. So I'll do a review for that, because uh, I already did a review for 40 for 44 and 45, but because I'm ending it here, 46, you know the match is over, and it makes no sense for me to jump into another storyline during the reaction right now, into because it would be just one episode. I don't know what's going to happen, but. Uh, um, it's the end of the game and it's a good way to end my reactions for the day I don't want to jump in another storyline right now um, so let's end it here so I'm going to be doing 45, 46 no 44, 45 and 46 review here okay so um, so in the episodes before um, so let's talk about everything that happened during these three, these three episodes right um, so 44 and 45, you know, we kind of saw Mitsui is definitely, in my opinion, I think, um, deserves the MVP of this match because he brought them back when they were down by 12. So he, he, he ended up scoring, um, 15 straight points, right? 15 straight points after the foul. Um, after the foul, foul him on the three-point line. He hit those three, um, and then he scored um, 12 more points straight from three-point range after that, right? Which is um, four three-pointers in a row after that. So, talking about Mitsui, um, you know, as I was saying that, he reminds me a lot of... As a character and how they're developing his character, he's going to have that kind of Naruto character. And the reason why I say that is because in relation to or what I draw the parallel to Naruto is this in the sense of Mitsui is the type of character that he has that one thing, a mantra that is going to drive him to do great things. And with Naruto, it was, I never go back on my word. That is my ninja way, right? So... For him, you know what I'm saying? For Mitsui, it's the driving force for him is what the coach said to him. Game is not over until you give up, right? So I think that is going to push him 
to even to do even greater things during the game you know what i'm saying i think that is his wake-up call and also the situation that happened to him back in high school that earned him the name mvp mitsui right um you know it, it's kind of like the same thing as naruto and his the damn swing that they kept showing in the anime it's gonna, it's gonna be that kind of situation <laughs> you know what i'm saying is that like it what it represents you know what i'm saying that moment represents the moment he became not just a basketball player but a transcendent basketball player so um so yes we're gonna have those moments in the anime and i'm looking forward to them so shout out to 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 mitsui man he definitely in my opinion deserve mvp of this game right um let's talk about hanamichi situation that happened between him and rukawa the author chose the perfect person to actually bring him back you get what i'm saying because akaki you know it it would have just been another talk from akagi but when you bring in Rukawa, which is a character that's always trolling him, that's always telling him he sucks, to be like, which we all know, you know, it's just, it's it's a joke between the two of them. They, they, they like each other, but they're like rivals. So they're not going to like each other. As I said, dynamic, you know what I'm saying? You know, end of Naruto series, Naruto Sasuke kind of dynamic. It's like, yeah, we buddies. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I still want that real fight. You know what I'm saying? Because we still rivals you know what i'm saying so um they just rag on each other because sakuragi he wants to be as good as rukawa right but he has so much more to catch up on but he has one skill that rukawa doesn't necessarily excel in that much he can rebound but i think at this point hanamichi is the better rebounder uh, if not the best rebounder on the team, to be honest, because even Akagi is looking at him like, damn, this dude can jump higher than anybody in the freaking district right now. So um, so he has those props to his name. Um, I was surprised they say he got 10 rebounds. I was like, whoa, 10? After all this time that he's been grabbing rebound, he only has 10? That's nutty. But, you know, anime does exaggerate stuff. So I was thinking he had at least 20. That's what I was thinking, but that wasn't the case. So, let's talk about this referee. I don't like him. He should not have called that a offensive foul. Um, just in the spirit of basketball. You get what I'm saying? Just in the spirit of basketball, it doesn't... Dunks like that don't get called for charging very often. You get what I'm saying? Like, it does happen, but people are usually really mad and the referees get booed for calling that you know what i'm saying players are getting dunked on they get dunked on you know what i'm saying you don't call foul or if anything you have to call a shooting foul so they so it's an and one so it's even more devastating you can't see somebody get banged on like that and pick up your whistle come on man you yourself should be in awe of that kind of greatness i was so excited but i was so scared and I was scared for a very good reason because they just won't give him a break. I mean, it's just, that would have been him getting four points in the game. Give him that, man. They still loved him and they still cheered him, but I love his reaction after because it's exactly how I feel. Even though I'm watching the show, it's exactly how I feel and it's exactly how he should feel because now you should feel like you let down the team by fouling out of the game and you feel like if they lose you know you're to blame you get what i'm saying because you can't have this hype all these turnovers and stuff like that and don't take any type of responsibility sorry i don't know something is weird at my feet here sorry about that <laughs> something is like really weird like at my feet i don't know what what it is um i think the mic cord dragged against my foot i thought it was something that ran over my foot because that's not supposed to happen so anyways crazy times 
right um so i'm glad that they did that um and the author makes some very good choices in this in this anime that i really respect that he that he actually went there now talking about um fujima well you know what i'm saying i feel for them but at the same time i don't and i've already said why because at the it's 50 50 on how i feel about them because i felt like if Fujima was in the game from the start, there's no way Shouku was going to win this game. Um, I'm glad that they won. Don't get me wrong. But at the end of the day, I think Shoyo was the better team. They were the better team. Right? And the reason why Shoyo lost is because they had their star player sitting on the bench. So if you show no respect, you get no respect back. And, that, and that's the thing about it is like if you um i know some people is gonna be like it's not about disrespect he's a player coach whatever whatever the minute you see shoku coming back in the game he was trying to get in and he let a player wave him off it's like we got this you know what i'm saying well you don't got it you know what i'm saying you never you know what i'm saying if i go to a game and i see a player's you know what i'm saying i'm on another team and another team you know and your, your your star player is sitting on the bench what kind of disrespect is that and he's not injured come on man get in the game get in the game whoop me whoop me by 100 points but don't already count me out and we haven't even started playing yet um a lot of a, any athlete i believe should take stuff like that very personally you know what I'm saying? Um, so, in terms of that, that is what I believe. You might have a different opinion about it. I don't know. Um, you know, he can play. He's a star player. He can play. He makes everybody on the team better. You know what I'm saying? Once he steps on the court. Reminds me a lot of LeBron James. LeBron can sit out of the game for two minutes and teams will get back in the game. As soon as he gets back on the court everything changes so he reminds me of that kind of player but lebron james would never would never sit on a bench at the beginning of a game yeah you know i'm saying even though he can if he wanted to but he would never do that you get what i'm saying lebron james is not the type of player that is going to come to a game and not play and he's not injured he has to be injured if he's healthy he plays he said it multiple times and i'm i'm saying it's not the same scenario but i still believe that he cost them the game you get what i'm saying so he's not free of blame is what i'm trying to say but in any case guys that was my review of that we're on to the next one we're into the district finals let's go i don't know who they're gonna play next i'm not sure um is it gonna be kynan I, i'm not sure if it's gonna be kynan but We'll see who it is. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, man, thank you guys so much. I will catch you guys for the next one. Like, comment, you know what to do. Subscribe if you're new. I'm out. Peace.